friends our today's video is about antakaran kaun science antakaran have four faculties the basis chit consciousness chit comes from the चेतन शक्ति चित पार्ट ऑफ सचिदानंद चित इज द स्टोर हाउस ऑफ अवर एक्सपीरियंस अवर नॉलेज अवर वैल्यूज बिलीव एक्सेट्रा एंड दिस चित लेट्स अवर माइंड परसीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन द सेंस ऑर्गन विच इज द पार्ट ऑफ द manome kosh in mind is also part of the manome kosh this mind perceives through sense organs whatever new things come and then this is compared in our intellect our intellect compares with the help of the pictures already form in the chitta So whenever a new idea comes, a picture is formed, and with the current ideas, intellect compares and judges. At the same time, our perception goes to ahankara or eye sense, and through this eye sense, we see. what is the self involved in it what is the i sense involved it in it if the processing time from organ sense sense organs mind and intellect is less it means we conclude the things faster then we or uh, sense organs mind and identity what does it means if we could judge faster what is correct before the eye sense is involved in it then we are acting intuitively if eye sense is involved faster it means processing time from the sense of organ perception in mind and i sense involved in it if we act here faster it means we are acting on impulse impulsively instinctively we are acting on urges if both the time are equal it means we are acting intelligently it means we have judged it correctly and we have balanced it with the i sense or the i sense has been taken care of then our thought and actions are based on both correct judgment and with the equal involvement of our i sense then that is the intelligent act thus in this antakaran these instruments have four faculties chitta manas intellect and identity what is chitta it is it is anusandhanatmaka antaka karane the chitta chitta is the platform where we are doing all the anusandhana research mind where we are searching for the sankalpa vikalpa what is your perceive and according to that we are doing this thing correct or that thing correct and then intellect that decide yes this is correct or this is incorrect and what is the identity or ahankara that is we are seeing how much i sense is involved we are more interested in i sense so we want to act intuitively 
if we want to have better intuitive power, then we, we, we should have freedom from desire, freedom from impatience, impatience, and there should not be eagerness for result. And also, we should be vigilant. Our consciousness should be clear. Also, we should have capability for introversion, that listening to unerring inner guidance. What is consciousness? Consciousness relates to how one views, interprets, understands, and interacts with everybody involved in different situations. A person's point of view is affected by his consciousness, his beliefs, and how he has been programmed. So, if we see the other's point of view, then that is according to his beliefs and program. So, in order to have intuitive power, what we should have? Our consciousness should be clear. We are vigilant and we are able to listen whatever inner psyche is giving the guidance. For that, our mind should be calm. That we should not be trapped in the past or future. We should be alive to present. Otherwise, what will happen? We will be remain ignorant. If a if mind is not calm, we are trapped in past and future. It means we are indulge in ignorance, ajnana. From ajnana, what comes? Avivek comes. Avivek means we are not able to discriminate what is good, what is bad. And from avivek, ahankar comes. When we are not able to decide what is good or bad, then our eye sense will over, overcome it. Eye sense will what I sense will do? This will go on likes and dislike. That is, Raga and Vesh will come. And we are not able to judge it correctly. We are judging based on our Raga Ardvesh, our likes and dislikes. And this Raga Vesh leads us to such karma which creates karma bandhana. It means we, if on Raga Vesh, if we act, we have to suffer because of karma bandhan, because of the consequences of the action we have done so far. Now, let us decide what we should do in order to get success. Success we can get through mind. For success, we will have to align what we want with what we manifest. We manifest what we believe. So, if you want one thing, but you believe something else at a deeper subconscious level, we are blocking ourselves. So, in order to get the success, we should manifest the same thing as we believe. Or that we must know that like attracts like. This is the law of attraction. If we are positive, we'll get the positive result. Because life principle is that we gravitate towards what occupies our mind. So, if our mind is positive, we'll positively get the results. So, remove negativity. 
so that positive energy will take its place. Because the second law of attraction is that nature abhors vacuum. Vacuum will not be there. The moment you will remove the negativity, positive energy will take its place. The third law of attraction is the present is perfect. So be in present, you can improve the present. And for success, it is must. The unfailing universal law is for every action, their equal and opposite reaction. So there will be, there is going to be a resistance, but that you have to overcome. What goes around comes around. If positivity is goes around, positively success will come to you. So what you should do? You should have a purposeful goal in the conscious mind. If in the conscious mind, your goal is clear, your chitta, your unconscious and subconscious mind will supply you plans, ideas, insights, and energies necessary to achieve the goal. It means what is important? That is in your conscious mind, your goal should be clear. Everything that chitta will supply, that will come unconscious mind and subconscious mind will supply all the plants ideas inside that will come automatically. We should know that repetition of thoughts and activities train our subconscious mind. When the goal is clear, you will repeat, then your subconscious mind is trained. Simply, suppose you want to learn the cycling. So, after practicing, then you not to have your attention towards the handle or pedaling because that has gone to your subconscious mind. Though initially you are concentrating that your handle should remain straight, you should be pedaling perfectly. But when you have repeated the activities several times, then it has gone to your subconscious mind. And as soon as you start driving cycling so your paddling and handle will be automatically in the correct uh, way that will be you will be driving correctly similarly when your positive thoughts will be there your attitude of conscious mind gets accumulated in the subconscious mind so everything will be working in subconscious mind and you will get the plans, ideas, insights, everything. Once your goal is clear, so it means your each and every minor parts, its details will be supplied by your subconscious mind that will remain thinking in that direction. And once your goal is clear, you will get the success because you will be working wholeheartedly to get the sex, to achieve the sex.